Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Becca. Today I'm going to show you how to make Biscoff Millionaires. All of the ingredients are in the description box below. The tin I'm using is 8x8 inches. If you're using a different size tin, then adjust your ingredients accordingly. To start, crush your biscuits until they're a fine crumb. Next, melt the butter. Pour this into your Biscoff crumbs. Mix this together until it's completely incorporated. Next, press this down into the bottom of your tin. You'll need to use quite a firm pressure to ensure you're not leaving any gaps or air bubbles. Once you've got a flat base, you can put this in the fridge for an hour. Next up, we're making the caramel for the middle. Put all of the ingredients for the caramel in a saucepan and cook this on a low heat until the butter has melted. Once it's melted, you can then bring this to a boil. You'll need to make sure that you are stirring continuously Keep bringing down the sides of the pan to make sure that none of it is catching or burning. You'll need to boil for about six minutes to make the caramel. Once it's ready, it will be a much darker color and it will be fudgy in texture. You can then pour this on top of your biscuit base. Put this in the fridge to set. It should take about two hours. For the topping, I'm using milk chocolate, but you can change this for any chocolate that you would rather use. Melt the chocolate until it's smooth. You can then add your jar of Biscoff spread. You can use crunchy or smooth depending on your taste. Grab the tin from the fridge and then we can pour this on top. Make sure you're getting a nice smooth layer on the top. You'll need to spread this out slightly to ensure it's smooth. For the topping you can either use crumbs of Biscoff or you can use larger pieces like I've done. If you're using crumbs you can put them straight on. But if you're using larger pieces, it's a good idea to refrigerate for 10 minutes so that the chocolate can hold its shape under the weight of the biscuit. Using your chosen method, apply your Biscoff on top of the chocolate layer. This will need to go back in the fridge to make sure that the chocolate has hardened up and set completely. This should take about 30 minutes. Then you can take it out and cut it into your portions. Because we've added Biscoff to the chocolate, it should be quite easy to cut. There you have it, Biscoff Millionaires. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for my future creations.